The work on this year's special session isn't over, but lawmakers did get the first half of their work done. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon was at the state capitol talking to lawmakers about passing the income tax cuts today. The House passed those income tax cuts, which means all that's missing is a signature from the governor for you to see lower taxes starting in January 2023. Republicans are celebrating a tax cut bill that they say will benefit everyone. As Democrats say, this is a tax cut for the wealthy that will only harm the poorest Missourians. We were not even properly funding things now, and now we're going to cut taxes by a billion dollars. It's this is ridiculous. And some Republicans wanted to go even further by cutting corporate income taxes. You know, not giving uh, corporations tax, that's that only benefits the wealthy. We all know that. However, Governor Mike Parson shut that down by refusing to expand the call for a special session. Technically speaking, the governor can always expand the call. In a statement sent to lawmakers today, Parson did expand the call to allow for more agricultural tax credits, but not corporate income tax cuts. Even though we didn't get as big of a tax cut as, as we might hope for, the fight doesn't stop here. Although lawmakers here have come to an agreement on income tax cuts, there are still Another thing that the special session was called for, and that's agricultural tax credits. Both chambers have passed their own version of the bill, but have yet to come to an agreement on which one to send to the governor's desk. We'll be keeping an eye on that next week. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News.